welcome to Tamsin's Threads. This is my first YouTube video with this channel. Saturdays are busy and I didn't do my hair or my makeup, but this is still gonna be a good video because you're gonna see how I organize our one bedroom, one bathroom apartment to be Poshmark reselling capable. My husband and I both have multiple jobs and I am also starting school on Monday. I'm finishing up my senior year. I took a break and I'm coming back. And uh, so I've been using Poshmark to help pay off debt. I make roughly around a thousand in sales every month. It is profitable and it's really fun for me. I love shopping and thrifting and finding stuff. I'm sure most of you do. Here's a tour of our apartment. It's messy. I'm sorry. Again, we're busy. If you have any questions, let me know. I really like to meet people and help people. So yeah, let me know. And yeah, let's just get started. So this is what you see when you first walk into my apartment. It's like a circle, but then the kitchen's in the center and the um, bedroom's in the far back, like around the corner. So where we have our shoes and then sunscreen and reusable bags, mirror, bookshelf. Um, we have, down here I have Poshmark items and personal items that I need to mend, um, either sew up holes or um, fix up and then I have my sewing kit and my sewing machine. This is a pile for Goodwill. These are hangers that I like to keep in my car and when I go thrifting I'll, I'm trying to put my items on the hanger so that when I bring them upstairs I just hang them up on the rack and they're good to go. This is extra fabric that I have. I was thinking of maybe sharing it with other Poshmark resellers and cutting it into squares so that if people want rugged type backgrounds, then they don't have to um, buy a whole rug. All right, so here are my shipping stations in our living room and dining room. Uh, we have a rolling rack to the left and that's gonna be items that I will like to use flat lays um, for. And I have this down here, it's a plywood that I got at Lowe's and it actually those two pieces were together and then they cut them for me so that's for flat lays right here and I lay on the ground and I sit on the ground and then they roll this over and take photos that way and then I have a bag of accessories right there that I use in my flat lays and then this is for hanging pictures and modeled pictures so I'll move this ring light um kind of like right here ish and then I'll model in front, I'll pull this out and roll it out, and then I'll model in front of the white, or I will hang it on the back. And then we have like a shipping station I put together, and of course I clean it all off, or try to clean it all off so that we have a clear table. We have wipes for cleaning off the shoes, the bottoms for taking photos, I have a measuring tape I like to use for um, flat lays. I wanted to show you guys this really cool tool. This is a seam ripper. Let's get a focus. Maybe not. Um, anyway, it's a seam ripper. So you will use it to rip seams if you mess up in sewing, but you can also use it to get the little strings and stuff off your clothes. So I have a piece of tape here so that if I find one, I can put it there and not put it on the ground. Um, a checklist. And then I have a rechargeable lint remover, which I will link. I have it linked in my Instagram bio, but I will link it somehow to the video and then I have my inventory bags. I have two sizes, one's a medium and one is a large. The medium like I like to use for tops and dresses, the large I like to use for sweaters and jeans. And then when you take off the strips, it's like adhesive so you can seal it. Um, those fly everywhere so I put a piece of tape right here so that um, I bagged a few this morning and put them in here and then I put the inventory, or I put the little inventory bag um, papers right there so this is this cute little bookshelf I found let's see if it'll focus and uh so I got this at Goodwill it was in our bedroom and it housed all of our shoes uh for Poshmark but then I needed a bigger space for shoes and I invested in a shoe rack and then this is all the shipping stuff that was in our bedroom just laying out kind of making it messy so what I want to do is reorganize this area I have my Dymo label printer, which I will also link, and then my laptop. It's old, um, <laughs> and it needs to be plugged in at all times in order to work. And then I have my steamer, 
the steamer I will also link um, this one sold out actually so I'll just link another one that would work but not only can I use this for flat lace photography I laid on the ground and still on the ground but I can hang my clothes from take it from the clothing rack hang it right here and then use the steamer and then put it back on the clothing rack so this is kind of like the living room that's inventory need to list inventory and about 60 items right here we have this I found at the thrift store. It's so cute. Um, and then in our bedroom, I'm actually going to get the lighting one second. All right, so this is our bedroom. Again, we live in a one-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment. We have over here the 50 shoe rack that I got from Amazon. I am loving it. I still have space, but the inventory in the living room, I'll be able to fill it when I photograph today. And then I have my belts right here. This is just a wire hanger that I uh, configured. It's off balance, but hey, it works. And then I have some purses down here. And then these uh, wooden frames. So it used to be, you know, they'd face outward and they were underneath our mattress. So we had one, two, and three. But when we got a new mattress, we got a purple mattress and an adjustable stand, um, we were able to turn it into uh, bookshelves for our inventory. So it's been working out really, really well, especially for living in a one-bedroom apartment. I mean, from the bed to the wall, I'd say that's about four feet, um, four to five feet. So we're making it work. It's okay. Uh, we're moving in April, um, hopefully, so we want to save up and I'm okay living in smaller spaces, it's fine. <laughs> so down here we have personal items, scriptures, journals, keepsakes and stuff. Um, here we have bigger boots and shoes that don't fit in the shoe rack, a shoe cleaning kit, uh, shorts, which I don't have very much left of, and then shoes I'm selling for a friend. We have a bag in there, but also more purses behind there. And then we have all of our shipping supplies. And if you didn't know, you can order shipping supplies from the USPS website and they'll send it to you. And then we have all of our bins. So tops, skirts and dresses, jackets and sweaters, denim. And then, sorry, I'm not very good at like aiming it. Um, I do have a trash can, a larger trash can that I use for when I bag up some of my items. Um, and then I have more um, boxes down here and poly mailers and, and whatnot. And I do like to keep some Ikea bags over here so when I have a large shipment, I can just open up the Ikea bag and take that with me to work. Laundry. <laughs> um, and then over here, I'm just turning the lighting around. I have items listed on eBay, more sweaters, more sweaters, more sweaters. And then those are my personal heels and shoes that don't fit in the cubby in the entryway. We have Patrick's personal items. Uh, we have the Dymo labels, and I guess that could go in the dining room now. And then I have home decor, which um, I am also selling through Poshmark. And Sorry, just tripped. Uh, we have these old, uh, cute little boxes. They're not old. Um, Patrick received some watches in the mail, so he uses them because he is also selling on Poshmark. So these are the watches that he's selling. That's his personal case of watches and he finds them and fixes them and yeah he's learning how to do that. He's really enjoying it. Um, you can check out his closet from mine. And then here is a quick little peep into our closet and up here we have some extra space for Poshmark if we want to use it. I do have a couple um, empty drawers down there so I might use some of that if I need it but I think we're pretty good. As far as the bathroom, then there's not a whole lot you need to see, but I do like to keep um, a tote in here for the shoes that I need to clean. I like to wait until I have like five pairs of shoes, um, and then I can have like a cleaning day, um, just because it takes a lot of energy, so I like to just do it all in batch it. And then I have a couple sweaters I need to hand wash. Um, and then our laundry room, and here we are. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, be patient with me. It's my first YouTube video in a long time. And I wanted to show you what we do for organizations so that we can be effective in our reselling. Hope you guys have a great day.